and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to say a big Happy New Year to everybody. It is the final day of 2019, which is mental, but there you go, that is it. Um, and I hope you all had a very happy Christmas or holidays or whatever you celebrate. I was going to do a post on Christmas Day to be like, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and then I got a bit distracted and didn't happen. Sorry. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was a little bit busy, but it was good. It was good busy, but yeah. So I hope you all had a lovely time. Um, personally, I had actually a fairly chill one, just like with friends and family and stuff. So it's been quite a nice little Christmas period. I've just had some family over and they've just gone home um, yesterday. So that was nice to see people and catch up and just eat lots of good food and drink and be merry. That's ideal. That's all I need. <laughs> but anyway, it is the end of the year, so I thought I would just do a little video and it's kind of my bi-monthly catch-up type of thing anyway, so I thought just kind of combine it all together um, and just think about kind of things that have happened and what's coming up next year and stuff, so yeah, babble first in coming probably. So first of all, I just wanted to say obviously a big thank you to everybody who has come to the channel and the continued support. You guys are amazing. The channel has really grown this year, it's been pretty cool, so I think back in beginning of year, like January, February, I had something like seven or eight subscribers, I think. So it was an itty bitty, itty bitty channel. <laughs> now we're up over 1200, which is absolutely crazy. So thank you very much for the ongoing support. Um, and it's awesome to hear from you guys in the comments and stuff and hear what you're thinking about the games and like laugh along with me when I make stupid mistakes, like blowing myself up or whatever, <laughs> which never happens. I never, 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 never blow myself up. That's not, never happened. Mm. <laughs> not once, not once. Don't know what you're talking about, but yes. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. And I look forward to continuing this with you next year. It's going to be fun. There's lots of fun games coming out next year. I think it's been a lot this year as well. So I've definitely had some, some favorites, you know, it's been awesome playing through the Uncharted series. We're now on the fourth one, which is super fun. Um, the little bit I've played so far, very different. It looks so different, but like, so it's quite strange to see it more realistic, I guess, with the like models and stuff. Cause obviously they've been slightly cartoony with like lack of facial features and stuff. Um, as in like wrinkles and things. <laughs> Whereas now they're actually getting proper definition and it's really cool to see that and how the gameplay's changed, like with the boat bit just throwing me in there driving, as we know from Death Stranding, driving is not my strong suit. So if there's more driving, that could get bad for us. But yes, that's been, so that's been really fun. Um, and obviously playing through The Last of Us was great. It's a little bit creepy, so I can't wait to see what happens in part two of that one. Um, and the more recent one of Death Stranding has been amazing. I want to do like a separate video on Death Stranding, um, just kind of chatting about it a bit. So I won't go probably into it too much right now, but I just, I thought that was so fun. Like it's, it's really interesting to see kind of how, you know, like the, the beginning bit, that first area that you were in, uh, the in Eastern part, was it? Must've been Eastern area. You know, I've spent probably, four or five hours running around there, getting very distracted before I went to Port Knot City and then crossed into the other area and then suddenly the world was even bigger and I was like, ah! So there was kind of like, there's this massive opportunity to just run around and do stuff without actually progressing the story and then you progress the story and get loads of really useful stuff and you're like, I should have done this hours ago. <laughs> why, why didn't I know that? But it was, I really enjoyed that. Like I love getting lost in games, you know, when it's like back when I played Skyrim when that first came out. The first thing I did as soon as I was able to was I just ran off and just got distracted for hours. I just stayed away from the main plot. I didn't do any of the main plot for like a really long time. Like I love doing that when there's kind of a sandbox kind of game, you can go off and just explore and do things and that's a lot of fun for me. Um, obviously not the best thing to do on the channel if you're trying to do a series, but that's why I was cutting out a lot of it. So by the end of the game I'd done 52 hours, and I know that that's not a lot for a game like Death Stranding, you know, some of you have said you've put in over 100 hours, 200 hours, which is awesome, and I may not get that high because I'm obviously limited on time and how I can explore and stuff, but, like, there's a lot more I'm definitely going to be doing in it. I haven't had a chance, actually, because I've had 
the family visiting and stuff that I've not had a chance to play it yet so I'm still waiting to do that because there's some bits I want to finish off before I can kind of do a proper video on it and then there were things like the plague tale which I really enjoyed just the story between them and all the orphans together I just I really liked that and the rats were really cool like I think I saw a video that said that there was something upwards of about 5,000 rats all kind of working together within each of those scenes and they were, the technology of them I can't remember what the thing was it was kind of like a hive mind type thing so it was just really well like really interesting video like the actual technology behind that bit um I love the story on it and then obviously playing Under the Dawn was fun and spooky fun but spooky <laughs> lots of jump scares for me you'll probably understand from that video why I don't play or that series why I don't play a huge number of uh scary games because in the grand scale of things that one's probably actually not that scary but it still got me lots lots <laughs> so imagine something that's truly terrifying don't think I'd get through it don't think I would I can watch them but I generally like if I'm watching something I'll often watch it on my phone just because it's easy I've got it with me whatever and um so when something like a jump scare does happen I literally do the cat fumble thing and nearly throw my phone across the room which is obviously not ideal but I've done that multiple times while watching other people's playthroughs of stuff that's scary so uh yeah might not be getting too many more horror games but you can get an odd one or two I think depending on what they are <laughs> um but there's yeah there's loads coming out next year that I want to play as well and there's other games that aren't brand new that I want to play so there's a lot I'm planning for the channel next year just continuing things so at the moment we're playing Uncharted 4 and The Wolf Among Us which is really fun as well. I'm super enjoying that. <laughs> There's lots of like, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see how it goes and what other characters come into that because that's just like, it's right up my street. I love that kind of thing. Um, so I'm, I'm very much enjoying that one so far. Um, but in January, so once that one's done, I'm going to be probably actually going back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, I say back to, I haven't played it yet, but I want to finish off that kind of new trilogy of the shadow the tomb raiders um so i will probably be going to do that which means there will probably be a bit of an overlap between uncharted 4 and shadow of the tomb raider which might be a little bit controversial but <laughs> i want to do it because i think one of the things i was thinking with uncharted 3 was there was less kind of puzzles in it and i don't know if it's going to change in uncharted 4 and it might um but I could, like I started getting a bit of a craving then for that kind of puzzliness which has been in the Tomb Raider games, like exploring those tombs, because um, that was a lot of fun. So I kind of, that started building up and I, I need to get back to that and just finish off that series, I think. I've heard mixed things about it. I don't know anything about the, the plot again, but I've heard kind of mixed things about it, which don't generally bother me anyway, because I like to make up my own mind. <laughs> Because I like a lot of things that other people don't, and vice versa. So, you know, we'll see. I'm, I'm looking forward to that one, though. I like the gameplay in, in the Tomb Raider games. That's been a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to seeing what Miss Croft is up to again in that one. Um, and then once... Uh, what will be once that one? I think once Uncharted 4 probably finishes then. Um, I'm planning to play Red Dead Redemption 2. So I will be also playing um, the Lost Legacy Uncharted game, but I'll probably do that after the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, unless something else has come out. I can't remember the dates of everything coming out, so I'll just have to check that to make sure there's not something that's coming out that I've forgotten about, which would overlap. Um, so yeah, that the, that's my kind of January plans. So we'll have finish off Wolf Among Us, finish off Uncharted 4 which seems very strange to say because we've only just started it, and then go into Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Red Dead Redemption because that's been on my list for ages, Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, obviously, it's been very popular. I do know a huge spoiler for it, so never mind. Um, but I don't know anything about kind of the rest of the plot and whatnot, so that would be cool. Um, but playing on Uncharted 3 with the horses, just like it made me super want to play a game where horses are quite big in it. And because I'm, Red Dead Redemption has been on my list for quite a while, I've just kind of been putting off because I know it's quite a big game. Um, I, I think it's it's time. <laughs> it's time. And I will be getting distracted and running off and doing things, but I can just chop some of that out if I do spend hours running around in the countryside. <laughs> so I'll be fine. 
be fine. I'll just do the key key bits. Um, so I'm looking forward to both those. There's like just it's been really great doing the channel because there's I've got this huge backlog of games. You know, I'm sure we all do. Like we buy something and just start playing it, and you don't necessarily finish it, or you play something but you've bought like five other games at the same time, and then it's trying to find time to play them all. I'm terrible. I've got this massive stack of games which I've either partly started or I've not finished like 100% like I want to finish 100% or I've just literally not gotten around to playing and so it's really nice to actually get the channel and it's putting me into a proper process of play through and finish. I'm a start and finisher so not finishing games really frustrates me. <laughs> Especially with like some things you know like when I'm the Witcher 3 first came out, I started playing it and then I stopped playing it for some reason. I can't remember why now. But I think maybe either something else came up or I just got interrupted anyway. And it was really hard to get back into at the time because I hadn't played it for a while and then I forgot all the controls and I didn't remember where I was going or anything like that. And I was just like, ah! So I basically had to just start all over again because I was like, I just, I don't, like, it's been too long, I don't remember it. And it's really weird to me, like, with being in that position now because I'm a lot better now. I will just can't play through something and finish it. Whereas back then I had a lot of distractions, I think, and that just stopped me from playing things all the way through. So that's why I've got a bunch of half-finished games because of stuff like that. Like I just got distracted <laughs> or things just interrupted me and then I didn't have any time to play and then it's been months and then I was like, well, I can't go back to it now. <laughs> so yeah, that's been fun. But yeah, there's, um, other than that, there's obviously there's a lot of new games coming out, I've already said. So we've got the big one probably next year for me will be The Last of Us Part 2. I'm very much looking forward to that one. We've also got the two consoles coming out next year. So we've got PlayStation 5 and Xbox X, is it? Something like that? I can't remember now. I'm more interested in the PlayStation 5. Um, I'm definitely more of a PlayStation girl. I have both. I've got, you know, I've got, I always get both of the Xbox and PlayStation ones. So I have a little generational build-up um, in my TV cabinet. Um, but I generally default to PlayStation. I don't know why. I've always been a PlayStation girl. Out of the two. The thing is I have to have... I, I get both because there's games I want to play that are on Xbox that aren't on PlayStation. But if they're on both, I generally choose to play it on PlayStation. For some reason. Don't know why. I think I like with the... Think about it. Like with the PlayStation home screen, more on the PlayStation... 4 versus Xbox One. Um, like the home screen probably is part of the reason because it's really messy on the Xbox. There's just like all of this crap on it and it's just like I don't like the tiles like that whereas the PlayStation is just very... It's a lot more ordered. So I think I quite like that. It's a lot neater on the PlayStation. But I like both anyway. There's games with both that I play so I don't get the whole point of the console wars. <laughs> You know, there's not much point in it. If the if there's a game I want to play, I'll just play it on the console I would, it's got it on. So, you know, there are definitely more exclusives on PlayStation Five though than Xbox. I think the only Xbox exclusives that I really play are Gears of War, Halo, and now Ori. I can't think of any others that are Xbox only. But yeah random babble. Anyway, um, so other than that, there's not a huge amount of stuff probably to go through. So 2020 is just here, around the corner, pretty crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna be saving some pennies for consoles, because that's gonna be expensive, because you know that they'll be coming out right before Christmas so that everybody can buy them. I wonder how expensive they'll be, because they're gonna have um, SSDs in them, aren't they? So they might be quite expensive. I don't know. Hopefully not too much, like too expensive. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's that's probably it for me. Um, I'm looking forward to 2020. I'm not. I have no big plans for tonight. I'm just kind of gonna chill out. I think. I can't be bothered to go out. I'm feeling very lazy today. You know, we've had family visiting and stuff, and it's just like. No, I just want to just chill now. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done for the year. We could have a night off and just be like, relax. So I might watch some movies and then go to bed early and get woken up by all the fireworks. Exciting. <laughs> anyway, once again, I hope you will have a lovely new year and a fantastic 2020 because, you know, anything's possible. So they say. We'll see. And uh, 
See you on the next video.